the history of the Jeff um, started in 1925. It was originally built by the uh, alum and trustees of Amherst College. Uh, many of them were looking for a spot that when re they were returning back to visit the college that they had a uh, place to stay. Um, so a group of them got together, purchased the parcel of land. Um, a company was formed that was essentially called the Amherst Inn Company that was made up of Amherst College. Shares were sold to people within the town as investment and essentially what came out of was the construction of the inn. So in its entire existence, it's always been an inn from the very beginning. Granted, it's gone through different configurations throughout the course of the years, but it, it's always been an inn and it's always been a returning home, not only for Amherst College alumni, um, but it's played a um, central role in, in the town of Amherst overall. Uh, its location right on the town common, um, it's sort of been this town gathering place. Um, everybody has some piece of history that's somehow associated with the inn. Um, they've either worked here over the years or got married here or attended an event here or dined in the restaurant here. Um, so one of the things that, that we've discovered is that everybody over the course of the 85 plus years that we've been here, everybody has a memory um, that's associated with the hotel. Well, right from the get-go, it was uh, central to the planning for the Lord Jeff that sustainability would be front and center. And uh, that's not necessarily a, a straightforward thing to do with an historic inn, uh, but the college felt that it was important as an extension of the practices on the campus itself to uh, have the inn be as sustainable as possible. The, the inn is often the, the first encounter that a, a person has with the college, and so the college thought that it was important that um, that, that first impression is one that incorporates both the history of the college as well as the sustainability practices. Um, and it was also seen as an opportunity for uh, outreach education um, relative to the uh, imperative of, sustain of sustainability for the college itself. That this is something that um, people coming to the restaurant or staying at the inn or going to an event at the inn would have an experience of uh, a sustainable facility and understand that that's uh, part of the DNA of the place. There's a lot that was done from a sustainability throughout the construction process that the average guest that's going to walk through the doors is not going to see. Um, what they will see um, is the restoration, uh, taking the inn back um, to sort of being able to provide that classic New England inn experience but in a very modernized facility without it feeling modern and contemporary. Sustainability was approached in many different vectors. The, really the most important of these are things that no one's ever going to see. They're, it's buried in the walls that the building has been uh, insulated with blown-in cellulose or sprayed soy lock uh, insulation or other types of insulation. No one's going to see those things, but they're critical to the performance of the building. Uh, in reducing the energy consumption associated with heating and cooling. In addition to that, the strategy required us to work with HVA systems, HVAC systems that are very sustainable and energy efficient, including high efficiency boilers, uh, air to air heat exchange, um, energy recovery, as well as the geothermal heat well system. The way that the geothermal system works is that there are 50 wells that were drilled into the ground and it really works on the, um, the, the fact that the ground just a few feet under the surface is nearly constant 50, around here 52 or 55 degrees. And that, it's obvious how that works in the summer, we're able to reject excess heat into the ground and provide cooling back to the building for the rooms, for the refrigeration units for the associated with the kitchens and other systems. Um, and it works in the opposite direction in the winter for heating in that uh, we're drawing on the, the heat associated with that constant uh, temperature of the earth and then through compression and refrigeration um, using that heat to heat the building as well. So on the east wall, the uh, ground source glycol loop enters the building 
comes into a series of uh, heat pumps that are stacked along the south wall of the mechanical room. Uh, and this is where the, the heat is transferred from the refrigerant systems within the building to the glycol loop that runs out and runs out into these 50 wells. A lot of the feedback and the comments that I got, guess, from sort of post and, and pre-renovation, um, a, a lot of the features that were put in from an efficiency standpoint, you know, rooms are cold now and they're kept cold and a lot of that has to do with the, the geothermal as well as the insulation um, both in the walls and the windows. Um, heat is hot, it's not wasted, it's not leaking out of other areas. The sustainability features that that the guests will see up front, that they will notice, um, are sort of throughout. Uh, the, I think the most prominent one is the energized system that we have in the guest room. Each guest, when they enter the room, is going to be able to um, essentially power up that room by inserting their key card, uh, bringing the electrical outlets as well as the HVAC to life. Uh, what that be able to provide is that when that room remains unoccupied, it's not burning unnecessary energy um, and it's safe. So, it's really a feature that's common in a lot of hotels in the industry outside of the United States. And, and the college and the owners saw that early on and it's uh, brought that to this end. Um, and it, it's really had a great impact. Um, we weren't sure how it was going to be accepted early on and um, the, the positive response that we've gotten from many guests um, shows that it was the right decision to make. Other things that you'll be able to see, we do in-room guest room recycling. Uh, you have a split recycling container in the room. We have motion sensors uh, layered throughout the, the hotel, in the guest hallways, also in the back of house areas, um, that when those areas aren't being constantly traveled, it powers down. Um, all the bathroom appliances, from the toilets to the shower heads, are all low flow and sustainable. LED um, light bulbs throughout a lot of places as well as CFL light bulbs in all the outlets. We have no incandescence um, on property whatsoever. Above the addition on the new ballroom we installed a green roof. Uh, this is a, a demonstration project showing how green roofs can be put into situations like this. Um, it is very low maintenance. It doesn't need to be watered. It doesn't need to be uh, weeded too often, uh, maybe once a year or so. Um, and uh, what it does is it reduces the amount of uh, immediate runoff during a storm uh, because it retains water and it also reduces the heat island effect associated with roofing which mostly is dark color and holds on to heat and in cities and towns and downtowns creates more heat. LEED certification is something that was developed by the Green Building Council um, as a way to measure the sustainable features both in terms of uh, the design and energy consumption as well as construction practices uh, associated with new buildings and renovations. And uh, it's provided a, uh, a guide for architects and, and owners around the country to really push further into sustainable products, lower energy consumption, and even better indoor air quality for people during construction. So it's really a, a holistic approach to construction sustainability. Uh, right from the beginning, the intention was to uh, seek LEED certification for the project. Um, that is uh, pending now. It's in, a, in its review process with the Green Building Council. And uh, at the time when we were planning the project, we were unaware of any other historic inn renovation that had LEED certification, so it was pretty exciting and new uh, for the college to take this on. And uh, we're quite confident that we'll, we'll be certified within the next few months. Most of the models and the systems that we have would project at the very least about a 30% savings um, in, in energy, um, be it both electric and gas. Um, so we're still pretty young being new and we only have about five, six months worth of history. Um, so we're, we're starting to track that right now. But I will tell you, um, at least through the first six months, we are way under budget in our utility expenses from what we anticipated. 
um, and those budgets were, were built on a typical hotel model of this size based on this occupancy is going to generate X amount of electricity and X amount of gas and um, at this rate would cost this and, and we've just seen a, a tremendous amount of savings in the first six months. I'd received comments from guests prior that um, they would jokingly say that they'd get up in the morning and start the shower and then go down to breakfast um, and hopefully by the time that they got up the, the water was hot enough to be able to take a shower so um, waste again in, in and of itself that we were able to eliminate that early on. Um, so I, I, again it's a classic New England in experience but uh, you know as today's traveler has become more sophisticated um, they realize that they don't have to sacrifice the modern amenities to still go back to and have that New England in travel experience that we're able to give them on a daily basis.